These days, most of the sites have long pages, which means users have to scroll down to view the complete page. If you want to know whether your users are scrolling down on your pages or not, then you can set up scroll tracking with Google Tag Manager. Keep in mind that Google Analytics 4 automatically tracks when a user scrolls down through the 90% mark of your page height. This capability is enabled through enhanced measurement in Google Analytics 4. However, if you want to track other thresholds such as 25%, 50%, etc., then you can use Google Tag Manager to set this up and send the data over to Google Analytics 4 or any other tag that you desire. In this video, I will walk you through the process of setting up scroll tracking using Google Tag Manager and sending the data to GA4. So let's go to Google Tag Manager and set this up. In Google Tag Manager, first we will have to enable certain built-in variables. Google Tag Manager automatically keeps track of the scrolls and stores the information in these variables. So go ahead and click on variables and then click on configure in the built-in variables section. Scroll down to the scrolling section and there you'll see three variables. Scroll depth threshold tracks how far the user has scrolled. It's a numerical value. Scroll depth units keeps track of the units of the scroll. There are two units it keeps track of, percentage and pixels. And then scroll direction keeps track of the direction of the scroll. It keeps track of both horizontal and vertical scrolls. So let's enable all three variables and then close the configure built-in Click on X to exit out of this window. Now our variables are ready for us to use them in our tags, triggers, etc. So let's go and create our trigger. Click on new in triggers, click in the middle and scroll down to user engagement and select scroll depth. Now you have options to select whether you want to track vertical scroll depth, horizontal scroll depth or both. Both of these will provide you similar options. However, we are only tracking vertical depth, so I'm just gonna leave it there. Very few sites have horizontal scrolling, but if you do, you can pick this option. The process is going to be the same. Next, you decide whether you want to fire this trigger on the scroll measured in terms of percentages or pixels. We are going to leave it as percentages because that's the most common way of tracking page scrolls. As I mentioned before, GA4 automatically tracks 90% of the page scroll. So if you do end up setting this trigger, you can go back to GA4 and disable the automatic scroll event in the enhanced measurement. It's entirely up to you whether you wanna track it from here or leave it there. Now enter the percentages of the scroll when you want this trigger to fire. So let's say I want to track 25%, 50%, and 75%. You can enter as many values as you want here. They all have to be comma separated. I'm just going to track these three values. Leave everything else as is. We are going to fire this trigger on all pages, so leave it there. Now, let's provide this trigger a name. I am going to call it scroll depth. Once done, go ahead and save it. Now the trigger is ready. We need to assign it to a tag. So let's go to tags and click on new. Click in the middle here and pick GA4 event. Pick your configuration tag and provide this event a name. Now here you have two options. One, you can create a separate event name for each percentage scroll. So you can call it scroll 25% and then you create the same thing for 50% and 75%. Or the other option is for you to simply call it scroll, which is the internal name for scroll that GA4 tracks, and then provide percentage scroll threshold as a parameter. I am going to use this option to show you how to do it. And as an exercise, you can do, you can do the other option. So click add row to add the parameter and 
let's call this parameter percent scrolled that's the name that GA4 also uses for the parameter that it uses for a scroll that fires on 90% so we're going to use the same name by doing so you will be able to use a dimension that's already provided within GA4 that allows you to see this parameter so if you use the same name you can use the same dimension that's all you need for this tag however if you are tracking both horizontal and vertical scrolls then you can add additional row to pass in the value of scroll direction and similarly if you are tracking in pixels as well as in percentage then you can bring in scroll depth units as additional parameters they are not really required for this tag because all we are doing is tracking vertically and that's the default tracking behavior so we're going to leave it as is but if you want you can go ahead and set those up next scroll down and add the trigger that we previously created pick scroll depth and now your tag is ready go ahead and provide your tag a name I am going to call it scroll depth event and that's it now go ahead and save this now our tag triggers and variables are ready let's preview this before pushing it out to the site click on preview enter your website's URL to test and click on connect now let's go to tag assistant and click on continue as you can see no scroll event has yet fired so let's go back to the site and scroll down I'm gonna scroll all the way down so we can see what gets fired go back and here you can see there are four scroll depths got fired as well as one scroll event let's take a look at each of these one by one the first one got fired at 25 percent so when I scroll 25 percent of the page that's when it got fired the second one got fired at 50 percent the third one got fired at 75 percent and then fourth one got fired automatically by GA4 at 90 percent since we did not configure any tag to fire at 90 percent nothing got fired from our tag container however if you notice the API call that was made when this event got fired that shows you that this event was fired at 90 percent vertical scroll this is done automatically by GA4 GA4 then fires scrolls event that tracks the 90% scroll within GA4 this automatically tracks 90% scroll within GA4 now let's go to GA4 real-time reports and see the events and parameters that are getting passed here I'm in the real-time reports in Google Analytics 4 scrolling down to the events section shows me all the events that got fired here is the scroll event clicking on it shows me all the parameters and let's go find the percent scrolled here it is clicking on it shows me all the values so 25 50 75 and 90 90 is the one that GA4 fires automatically as I mentioned before if you don't want this then you'll have to go and change it in enhanced measurement in GA4 let's go back to Google Tag Manager and publish the container so here I'm back in Google Tag Manager click on submit and give your version a name scroll tracking go ahead and publish it and that's it this is how you enable scroll tracking in GTM and then send the data over to GA4 you can send the data to any tag that you desire go ahead and set this up and I will see you in the next video